Yo, we are going live. We are live. What up, finger pickers? How you guys doing on this beautiful Monday? Monday, I'm starting late. It's 827. I did do one yesterday, Sunday. But here we are. We're going to do a Monday one. I told you all I'd be regular on Monday, even though way more people turned out on the random Sunday. So we'll see. We shall see. Today we're going to talk about uh, we'll discuss learning songs by ear, how to do that, and how I go about learning them. Yo, what up, Rhino? Got one eyeball in the house. What song should we learn today? I'm going to go through the process with y'all, the secret behind Mike's music method. How does he do it? How does he learn these songs by ear? With such excellent tab. Pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Mike's music method. What's PewDiePie up to these days? Man, I am really pink in this camera right now. Now I'm too yellow. Dude, I don't know. I have no visual eye. <laughs> Donate to Mike's music method now. Give me all your money. And I will give it to God. If you give Mike's music method your money, he will give it directly to God. Yeah. What song should we do? <clears throat> Let's see what's over at Mike's music method. Who's pitched in some coin? Mike's music method.com. Sponsoring a song. You can sponsor a song today, Rhino, if you'd like to. Just super chat me. Uh, we got Last Kind Words by Gishi Wiley. And we've got, I really need to get quicker at um, sharing my screen. That's what I need to learn how to do. Yo, yo, what up, everybody? There's seven of you. Say hello. Come on, say hello in the chat here. I'm feeling lonely. Uh, news layout, what does this mean? Press Shift 5, all right. Did that do anything? That doesn't do anything. Howdy, howdy, rise up. How's it going? Good to see you again. Good afternoon. Didn't I just see you? We're doing it again. Uh, now I don't even know how to share anymore. Oh, present. I have to present. Share my screen. I guess I could share my entire screen, but I want to just share. Sure. I don't have too many. I don't think I have any revealing documents open. It's not letting me share the entire screen. Why not? Know any D Dale Miller? No, I don't know any Dale Miller, Larry Lonesome. Uh, give me a Dale Miller song, and we'll learn it right now. Yeah, here we go. Now is it working? Is that is that too many things that it's sharing? What does it look like? Does it look ridiculous? I'm trying to see what it looks like at the same time that I'm sharing it. Uh, yeah, this kind of works, doesn't it? Hey, this looks cool. Is it, are you looking at the right tab? Um, so there's some of these, this easy now song, if you guys don't know it, you should look it up. It's so beautiful. And I'm sorry, Tom, if you're listening, uh, it's just so freaking hard. Um, I kind of have America tabbed out already. We'll get to that one. Uh, this last kind words is a really funky blues song. Uh, but I'll do some Dale Miller. I'm happy to give you guys uh, you guys to say, since you are here after all. Stop screen share. I learned brand new companion intro last weekend. Yes, you did, Rise Up. Did you learn it from Mike's Music Method? Of course you did. Definitely a fun one, but I can't figure out how to sing it. I guess I learned some more blues, lightning, and Hopkins stuff. Yeah, I know. It's hard. It is hard to sing while doing this like free-formed blues stuff. Uh, and I don't know if me giving you the whole tutorial would be helpful because I know I just gave you the intro. Maybe it would be, but it's one of those things that you just got to, I don't know, try feeling out and practicing it. Dale Miller, fingers don't fail me now. Let's pull it up. Dale Miller, fingers don't. Fingers don't, oh, I get it, the commas in there. Fingers don't fail me now. <laughs> funny, very funny. 
Very, very funny. Very funny song title. Uh, now i got to figure out how to share that screen now. Ooh. Does that work? I think, I hope you guys can hear it when I do this. Loading. 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 <laughs> This is rad, but this guy is in Dale Miller. Is the original artist Dale Miller? I mean, that's a really rad cover. Uh, this guy looks like Dale Miller, doesn't he? But how come Dale Miller doesn't have his own song? you got to help me out here, Larry. <clears throat> yeah, you just got to keep learning some more. That was the first traditional style blues I've learned. Uh, what's an educational album with full tab? What should I be searching for here? Did I miss something? Who is this Dale Miller guy? He seems like, uh, I mean, this is the only one that's up. This guy's playing it pretty darn well, if that's it. Sounds cool. All right, I'll wait for Larry to respond here, Larry. Everyone's waiting on you. Oh, he's real. He's down tuned. I need another guitar to do this. He's tuned super low. <clears throat> uh, self compositions. It's brilliant. Uh, but what do you mean, educational album with full tab? I'm con you're confusing me, Larry. Talking more than three two word sentences. Did I pull up the right one? Are we looking at? Is this actually Dale Miller, or is this a re-upload? What's happening here? And he's tuned super low because his his uh, his G is actually sounding an E. And if I do that to this guitar right now, it's going to take me forever to down tune. So, uh, who's got another song? Have you ever heard played any Burt? Yeah, who didn't you recommend a song of his last time? Super innovative finger picker. Yeah, wasn't was it you rise up who was here last time recommending uh, Angie by Bert? And I totally know this song, but I think I only know it because uh, Chet Atkins and Merle Travis covered it. You want to just dive in and do this one? So whenever I'm learning a song, let me let me know that you guys can hear this. Okay, that you're actually hearing the sound here. But do, I'm always listening for the low notes. <laughs> Sure, I got it. Boom, 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 boom. Now here, there's a problem where like he's clearly got a capo on because this is just a ridiculous. Yeah. So I know that 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 he starts on a C, and I know it's minor. And I'm assuming if the capo's on the third fret, you can just play an A minor shape. Then it would just be the third fret first and then open. So that to me seems like it could be good. So that then my approach is to try it. Throw that capo on. Yeah, and that kind of pull off hammer on. Uh, yeah, this, this I think is about right. is a totally new style for me. This is cool. I'm getting tripped up here. He doesn't play the high note the first time, huh?
Um, this is a really cool song. Um, I can't do this in real time. It's going to fry my brain. And you guys would just be like watching me like drool as I was like put it super slow and tried. Um, but high, low, and in between could be a cool one. Uh, but I will, I think I'll do this one. This is a really challenging piece and I am up for it. <clears throat> it's educational only in the sense of having full tab with album. Yeah, it, it's, it is virtuoso playing. I've learned Running From Home and Just a Dream by Burt so far, both great songs. Cool, I will listen to those. Um, boom. I'll check those out. Patrick Sky. Words without music. How do you guys discover these? Oh, someone did tell me about Patrick Sky before. So you figure out the bass notes. To me, it's like three, 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 five, three, three. Uh, again, I, I'm going to assume that, that it's just barred on the third fret, like the last song was. idea and then oh this will be cool hopefully i can um uh, more troubleshooting guys you want to do this one patrick sky words without music yeah you know what I'm, let's just pick one we can do this in real time is that bigger and then i hope i can just if i open a new tab do you guys see it no crud oh, that's fine uh let's see new share sorry new share here I am again. Hi. Uh, boom. This should work. Boom. Boom. Let's hit the boom button. Boom. And here I am, tiny in the corner. So I use flat. There's nothing magical about this website. Um, there's tons that do it. I use it just because they hook me up and give me a free account because I, you know, promote them on YouTube. So they're cool. I just asked them and they were willing. So, but any, any tab site will work. Uh, what's it called? Words without music. Patrick Sky. So we get our guitar, we plug in our guitar, and it just looks like tab and sheet music. Boing! And here's our blank slate. And just so I don't forget myself, the capo is three. And my name is mikesmusicmethod.com. It's saved, and we got our, uh, and I always just put in my bass notes first, so let's listen again. Yeah, so that repeats a whole bunch, and so I will, like I said, here I am, I'll literally just write the bass notes in. And now it's going to sound different because you could put a capo setting in, but then it changes all the notes. And that's not helpful to anyone. So that's our kind of general thing that's going on here. Now I'm just listening for the higher notes now that I got the bass locked in. Often I'll slow it down and go to 0.75 speed. And that usually gives it away. Um, 
you can see it better, right? So we got a pinch at the beginning, and then on the in-between note, I'm playing that. This is way too loud. <clears throat> then on the upbeat, he goes back to the three. And here I can just quickly, I know this shortcut, so I can just turn these into eighth notes and throw them in. changes here, right? There's like a hammer on going into it. Yeah. <clears throat> so it hits that open and then he hammers into the A minor chord. Real typical kind of picking stuff. And then I then I think the pattern's the same. It's just on a new chord, A minor. I think, but let's listen before I commit. back into it that's the I knew there was one more thing missing da, na, 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 na. and then, then this is well it's exactly the same except you have the uh, the um, hammer on here right so then I can add these go to my tab there's my hammer on button and you get these super rad MIDI sounds Loops. Uh, so hammer on into three, and then yeah, and it, the whole thing loops. That's the intro. Let's keep listening. Boom, how about that? It's the song's over. That's it. We did it. Um, what program is this seems useful for figuring out songs without forgetting what you figured out? Yeah, so it's called Flat, flat.io. Again, like I said, there's a ton out there. I'm not saying these guys are the best. They simply, I just emailed them after using it because I think you can only save like six things before they uh, charge you. But I just reached out and said, hey, I got a pretty popular YouTube channel. I'll keep using flat if you don't charge me. So I, I, I think it's fine. Good product. I got a good workflow on it. <clears throat> Dude, we did it. How about that? And if you go to flat.io, you can, without an account, or at least without paying, you can at least access my stuff. And I do make some things like public before I uh, like finish them. You know what I mean? Sneak preview. Plus, if you, if for some reason you actually want this sheet music in here, um, there are some cool features like instead of playing along with me, you can play along with this all the way through the tab. And um, I don't know if you can do this, but if you don't, if you're not like the owner of the file, but you can like change it, the playback speed, you know, um, as a way to practice. I mean, that's tediously slow. He's probably at like what 180 at least. Well, maybe not that fast. Yeah, and then it just repeats. That's the whole tune. Look at that. Boom. Come on, where's the super chat? I did your song for you. Super chat me. 
Come on, brother, son. Super chat me. I don't even know how to super chat, so I don't blame you if you don't. But uh, yeah, let me save. Let me share. Let me make it public. Uh, share publicly with flat community. Words without music. Patrick Sky. Posted. Look, you'll even get your own little name on here. Okay, brother. Inspired by brother son. Okay. Edit with flat. <laughs> Inspired, tab inspired by brother son. And he didn't even super chat me. Saved. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, can you do a blaze? Come on, brother. He did that song for you. That's right, drunkie. Come on. Let's harass brother son. Let's guilt him. Let's guilt trip him until he uh, sends me something nice in my P.O. box. Can you do a Blaze Foley song called Wouldn't That Be Nice? It's real short, like a minute 30. Dude, I'd love to do a Blaze Foley song. Um, sorry, you got... It's too annoying to keep... I don't know why I can't just like... Maybe I can't. Let me figure out how to share this so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Wouldn't, would that be more helpful? Because I'm constantly jumping back and forth here. Present, share screen. I just want to do all of all of Brave. Why can't I share a window like on Zoom? I mean, it doesn't matter. I can share my entire screen. But it doesn't let me do that. Ah, the share button isn't activated. Window. Oh, wait. This will work, maybe. What does that look like? Now when I... Ooh, hey, that's better. Isn't that fancy? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. I know. Hawks are stalking my chickens, man. Thank you, drunkie. It's true. My chickens are being uh, stalked by a hawk. We actually took our old Christmas tree, and instead of just throwing it into the, you know, onto my property, uh, we, like, created a little, like a teepee. We created a teepee out of sticks and wood and stuff, so... The chickens can hide from the hawks. A little more cover. All right. I keep getting sidetracked, and now there's too many things open. What's the song called? Uh, Wouldn't That Be Nice, Blaze Foley. Let's do it. Look at, you get, look at, we're like browsing the internet together. Well, 2023, what the heck is going on with all this technology, man? But this is. Ten of you weirdos are hanging out here watching me browse the internet. Strange times. About, uh... Yeah, no, at this hour they're locked up in the coop. <laughs> I'm not worried about the chickens right now. It was daytime. Uh, I missed it. So again, bass notes, I try to figure out like what, what his thumb's doing first. He's doing B, um, some kind of B to an F sharp, and the way I think about that is um, he, because it's B to F sharp, he probably just has the capo on the second fret. And let me know if you guys would rather see me bigger in the the tab smaller. I don't know what's more helpful for y'all. Uh, just let me know. And now, now I can kind of hone in on it. Uh, let's do another one here. New score. Wouldn't that be nice? Blaze Foley, of course. Pluck strings. The acoustic guitar. Got the capo on the second fret. Capo two. Made by me. Inspired. By Rise Up. One four, what are your numbers? Rise up, 144. Tab inspired. Bye. Rise up, 144. Whoever freaking steals this tab and brings it over to Ultimate Guitar, those SLBs, uh, they better credit 
the inspiration from Rise Up 144, or I'm going to be disappointed. Okay. <clears throat> Either way works. I know, I am really handsome. I should be using my good looks to my advantage, huh? There's 12 people here. I bet if I, if I put on my good looks face... Uh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Even with the, these are my nighttime blue blockers. I don't look like Bono, okay? That's one way to trigger me. I shouldn't even be letting you know this. But don't compare me to Bono because that guy's a piece of... All right, I'll get really upset. But I like my... When it's too, things are too bright, I need my blue blockers. Don't judge me. I'm not Bono. All right, let's go back to the song. <clears throat> Duh. Yeah, we just got to walk up. It's an A major. Keep opening the wrong tab. So, um, one, two, three, four. So we got a pickup beat. Sometimes it's hard to know what the high end, what strings going on. You got to like listen to it ten times. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, I think he's using all three top strings. As we play it more, I'll be able to figure out. Boom, let me double check the thumb line. Yeah, he's doing that cool three note pattern where he's got Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's even better. Look at that. Look at my zooming skills. Look at my shortcuts. So on this in-between beat here, he's hitting the third string. Thumb and thumb. Then in between here, we got the high E. And here I think I'm hearing this second string. Sounds good to me, right? Rise up. Uh, you are taller than Bono. Yes, that's right. Bono's a midget. A dwarf. A, 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 a dis height disabled person. To be technical, he's a small guy. I'm taller than Bono, thank you. I know, and more talented. I'll take that too. Uh, sorry, I got to go somewhere before the store closes. Uh-oh, get to the store. But I'll figure out Super Chat you when I get back or next time. I will hold you to it, Rise Up. There's a video of him playing it live, super drunk. <clears throat> oh, smash, yeah, smash that like button. Is that what everyone says? Smash the like button. Uh, let's keep going with Blaze. All right, rise up. Have a great night, man. Make it to the store. Don't don't forget Grandpa's medicine, okay? Just the same thing on the E chord. We'll get it back, but um, I, I hate the default volume on this. is like louder than everything in my life. <clears throat> and I think he's just going I think he's just doing 6 to 4 here I'll have to listen again to be certain well it's really helpful too when you're learning a song by ear like nice headphones even decent headphones make such a difference compared to I mean granted I do have nice speakers finally here but uh, headphones there's nothing like headphones to really put it in your head boop bap boom I don't know if that's totally right, but we'll listen a few more times. That is right there, right? No, open. All right, looks good. We listen to a few more times. He sings it, he does the walk again. I think I hear that little 
hammer on trick in there. Yeah, and then he, he ends it different. Yeah, let's let's do a quick hammer on because it sounds really cool here. I don't know if he's doing it every time, but that's neat. Oh, and it's a 16th note. Fancy, fancy. So that's hammered because he still has the... Just got a heavy thumb there. Here he hits, <coughs> hits the high one. Whoops, two. part here. Can you guys see that whole, I don't know how it fits on the screen. Smash the like button, Drunk says. Uh, how much does it cost for you to make a video tutorial for a song I like? Uh, it, it doesn't, I don't know. There's not a fixed amount. If you go to my website, mikesmusicmethod.com, um, go under sponsor a song and I give a whole spiel there, but I guess I should tell you about it. Tyler, I'll read your chat in a minute here. Um, it's here. You can go read it. It's here. Sponsoring a song, Mike'sMusicMethod.com. But basically, like, think of it like a donation. There's no guarantee that I'm gonna get to the song. Uh, some people have like given me ten bucks and said, "Hey, do this song," and it's a song that I already really loved, so I did it. Other people have given me twenty five bucks, but you can see that there's still a few songs that are lingering. So if you pick a song and I hate it, or it's too hard, or there's a reason that I don't want to do it, I'm not promising anything. So Sponsoring a song, just think of it as a donation, but it's a way to like guide the channel. You know, I'm, of course, I'm always going to consider these. I'm not going to be like a jerk about it. Uh, so there's been, you know, a couple songs that I haven't gotten to yet that people have sponsored. One is just super hard. And the other two, like, I don't, they're not really finger pick songs. So I'm not sure what to do with like Ain't No Sunshine. And I guess I'll, I'll do, I'll, I'll get to this Gordon Lightfoot song. And this Jones Shelley one is awesome, but it's real hard and I need to prepare for it because I could probably do like, no joke, like six tutorials in the time it's going to take me to do this one. <laughs> so I'm slightly dreading doing it even though it's gorgeous playing. Hey Mike, cool to see you're still doing music. You were actually my piano teacher back when I was little. I'm 19 now. What? No. Wait, is this, this is Tyler Hannon in Austin. Dude, unbelievable. Get, let me give you a hug. Ugh. How's it going? Music education. This is that's awesome. What do you want to be like a um, teaching a school setting or private or um, just wanted to say thanks for getting me into music from way back then. And I wanted to thank you for being a great teacher. Keep being cool. Duh! Duh! Dude, I'm so happy right now. Unbelievable, man. Are you guys reading this? This is awesome. How cool. Um, Did you? Yeah. Have you been following the channel for a while? And uh yeah, what, what's your, I mean, your main instrument, piano, or did you switch over to something, or, dude, this is so cool, tell you, tell your parents I say hey, too, aw, me and my wife, it's so funny, me and my wife were just talking about uh, Austin today, because our, one of her good friends called her up, and she's still living down there, and they were just reminiscing about Austin, and talking about the city, and my wife was like, yeah, it's been a long time since we visited, because we only came back no joke, I think since we left, we've really only came back one time to visit. Uh, and now with three kids, it's just like, it gets expensive. Um, but we do want to return and visit a lot of people. 
but I'm, I'm just, I'm so happy to hear that uh, our lessons way back when you were, this had to be at least seven years ago, <clears throat> probably longer though. So yeah, dude, you were like, what, nine, 10 years old? <laughs> yes. Oh, I love to hear that. Thank you for stopping in and posting that. Um, sorry, now, now I can't stop thinking about that. That's so cool. <clears throat> I don't think anything I would suggest would be overly hard. I just don't know if it would be in the genres you're into. I, I don't know. Just give me a taster right now. Throw something out. Give me a taster. Should I keep doing this Blaze tune? Yeah, let's keep doing the Blaze unless you guys start throwing other things out here. Lock your door, lady, or I'll jump in your car. I know you know how nasty we are. It changes. <clears throat> There's a chord change there. He, and he sounds pretty drunk in this one, even though it's not... I don't know if this is a live version. Maybe he meant him actually picking it, but uh, here. Lock your door, lady, or I'll jump in your car. So the verse is the same. I'm not going to like totally format this here because I know there's like a repeat and whatever. Um, just trying to get the general idea across here. Lock your doors, lady, and get back in your car. I know you know how. There's a D chord in there. Lock your door, lady, or I'll jump in your car. I know you know how. Notes, so. nasty door, lady, or I'll jump in your car. I know you know how nasty we are, lady, or I'll jump in your car. I know you know how. The, the bass, the walking bass sound, it just sounds wrong to me. I feel like he messed up. Because he does four, five, five, four. I mean, it might be what he's doing. It's hard to hear, too. This The quality of the recording is not this great. It's actually kind of cool. I can't follow these lyrics. I'm too focused, but they sound totally absurd. Yeah, and back to the A. And then I'll get off this one in a second. I want to engage with you guys a little bit more. And it won't be a long one. I'm going to hang out with my lady, my wife. guys anything else we well, you got your phones in your pocket just listening are you guys doing the dishes just wanted to give you all a taste of what it what it uh how i go about this stuff i don't know how to stop my screen share so that's it any parting words i did one yesterday i don't want to go long we had just live streamed yesterday with you guys Dude, Tyler, I hope you heard my uh, my rant here. I don't know if you left. I can't believe that. That's so that's so cool. <laughs> and are you still in Austin? Yo, John, how's it going? We're about to call it a day. You're in late. 
just talking about um, how I tab out songs, what program I use, and uh, how I think about it. And that's it. And I'm just noodling. I got. I don't have too much to talk about. Sponsoring a song. Maybe I'll finish one of these. I'll give them both a, a proper listen. I need to practice more, guys. All my playing is like for this channel. Thanks for being awesome. Dude, thank you, Max. I'm glad you're you're getting serious, getting real value from the channel. That's awesome. It's been uh I say this all the time, but I'm going to say it anyways. This whole YouTube channel thing has been fantastic ever since the Kofufu 1984 hit and it forced me online because uh, I lost a whole bunch of students at the school that I was teaching at. But it's been the best thing ever. It's just what a beautiful silver lining to, to the, all the nonsense. So it's great. Mike, is that tab software easy to use? Sure, yeah. I, I'm, I don't, like I said, they do hook me up for free. Uh, I can't say it's like the greatest thing since sliced bread, but it's cool. <clears throat> Let me actually just share the whole tab. I, I don't like, again, some may be way more intuitive. Some might be cheaper. How do I just do the screen there? Um, but basically this is how I use it. Mostly I'm using it for tab, right? You can hear the notes. I don't know if it's loud enough now because I lowered it. But anyways, right, you can kind of hear that. And you can hit play, right, and it'll play through it. It sounds stupid in MIDI. But it just, like, makes sure, like, you... Because sometimes your brain gets fried and you think you typed in the right note on the right fret, but you didn't. Um, and the only way I kind of use it is like, you know, up and down arrows, move that pretty quick. You just hit the numbers to punch in the numbers. That's simple enough. Um, you can copy and paste, you know, just like you would do anything. So you can copy a whole measure, paste it. And then once you figure out the shortcuts for the note values, right, that's pretty helpful because I can quickly make this a, an, you know, an eighth note or a sixteenth or back to a quarter or a half note. Um, undo it. So, and then, you know, you can put in text. That gets a little kind of buggy sometimes. Nothing crazy, but it's not the best. And then you can just like throw in the chords. All right, there's the A chord. E. A. All right. So that's it. That's kind of the general rundown. Flat.io. I don't work for them. They don't pay me, but they do hook me up. Uh, stop share. Cool. All right. I'm out of here. I'm out of here, guys. I'll catch you next Sunday or Monday. I don't know what day it'll be. I don't know what day is better. Sunday seemed to be more lively, but it just kind of depends if all my kids get to bed. Uh, yeah, you can try it for, it's free, John. I mean, sorry, you can save like six things before they start charging you. What's the other one? Muse? Muse score? Uh, dude, there are so many. Just, you know, do a search engine like browser-based notation software. The only reason I like the browser-based is like, because I'm often like, if I'm traveling or I'm somewhere else, I can just go to flat.io and I don't need like my specific computer to do it. Uh, you know, it's a little bit slower, but... It doesn't really lag enough where it annoys me. Yeah, praise the Lord, John. He is good indeed. All right, I'm done. Good night, y'all. Thanks for coming in and um, talking, picking, talking, picking, and transcribing. And let's write a song together next Sunday. Uh, that was so much fun. I'm looking forward to doing that again. So I'll see y'all then. Peace. Good night. Good night.